In this video, learn how you can save an entire website to a PDF document using nothing but the screenshot feature on your iPhone and the Files app. Here we go. So let's take this article. It's a Sports Illustrated article. It's fairly lengthy. And what I'd like to do is save this article. Now, I know I can take a screenshot of it, but if I take a screenshot of this article, I'm only going to get this part that is showing on the screen. I'm not going to get all of this other information. So here is how you can save an entire website on your iPhone and then transfer that to PDF. All you have to do is take that screenshot that I mentioned a second ago, tap on your screenshot, and switch from screen to full page. Now you'll notice it is allowing me to scan that entire article. So not only did it take a screenshot of the top of the article, but it also took a screenshot of the entire page. The last step for me to do if I'd like to save this is just to tap the done button at the top. And then I'm going to choose the option that says save PDF to files. This is going to prompt me to save this PDF in a location inside my iCloud drive. There we go. The file is now saved. And now from my Mac, I can open my iCloud drive and I can locate this article. And as you'll see, it's a very high quality PDF copy. I can also take the text from this document, copy and paste it if I would like, but everything that I saw on my phone is now available as a PDF document that I can access either from my phone in the Files app or on any Mac with iCloud Drive. So a small tip that hopefully makes your life easier, especially if there's websites that you would like to save as PDF documents.